Brimstone. It's so good to see you again. It feels like ages. That battle by the old Nile really messed up our meetings, didn't it? I thought I might never get to see you again. You were called to fight there, weren't you? Okay, then. Spin for me. Just spin already. I need to check you over for wounds, because I know you don't take care of them. Come on. I have something fun planned, and we can't have any fun if you're bleeding all over the place. No wounds that I can see. <laughs> that makes me so happy. You must be taking better care of yourself in battle. Psh, like that matters. Even if it was months ago, I can see you carrying it around as a badge of honor, or just not thinking about getting healed. You make me so worried sometimes that I won't ever see you again because you wept into battle without thinking. I brought the war to the lake. Ugh, my brain must be full of clouds today. I wanted to bring you a piece of my culture, something that we can enjoy and have fun with, and instead I just brought up the blood and violence and everything. Wait. I didn't even think. I'm supposed to be this big brain scientist for angel kinds, and I'm just an airhead. Well, I am. Um, I thought since we always talk about our homes and everything, that it might be a good idea to, you know, bring part of it to share with you. I just <laughs> didn't really think it through when I chose the thing to share, so uh, maybe it's not the best idea, you know? I, I can always wait until next time we meet to... <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, I do like the feeling of your hands. It's very soothing. Your skin smells nice, too. Um, I mean, thank you for, uh, you know, <laughs> pulling me out of my spiral. I've been a lot more conscious about how much of my culture revolves around the whole war thing, and I didn't want to risk offending you by bringing a book about an angel hero vanquishing demon kind or a... Uh, uh, child's toy that's all about beating the evil demons. <sighs> I'm just making everything worse, aren't I? Uh, I can't believe I keep running off at the mouth. I can't think straight when I'm around you and I say all the wrong things. Can you just forget everything I said so far? Please. With clouds and drizzled chocolate on top. You don't top your desserts with clouds. Or chocolate. That's terrible. I thought hell at least had some clouds to munch on, if not chocolate. I get that the plants for chocolate would be hard to cultivate in the environment, but that's just awful. No, don't try to stop me. I know what I'm going to bring next time. Chocolate and clouds for you to munch on. Oh, I guess the name is a little misleading when you put it that way. Clouds aren't the collection of water in the atmosphere, like here in the human realms. Can we really call it that now, with them gone some 300 years? Right, <laughs> that's not important. Um, clouds are something that we discovered before humans were all gone, except we made it better. It's a puffy cloud. <laughs> I don't have a better word for it. That when you bite into it, the cloudiness just melts in your mouth. And the taste is pure bliss. Of course, cloudiness is a word. We just used it, didn't we? <sighs> You're just making fun of me now. Maybe I won't bring you either treat next time. I might even just take my game and fly home now. 
I don't understand why you're making fun of me. I didn't say anything weird this time. Cloudiness is a word. Why not? Why isn't it a word you thought I'd say? Because I work on angelic weapons. Because I'm supposed to be super smart? I thought you were different. I thought... I could be myself with you. Not having to worry about expectations. I thought... The lake... You... Were places that were safe. No. No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten worked up like that over something so small, and I shouldn't have placed it on you either. You're not an angel, so... Yeah. Let's, um, focus on the game for now. I'll just, um... Get it set up. Over here. I really am sorry. Not your fault. Wait. Focusing on the game. <sighs> what I... <sighs> Thank you. I needed a hug. means a lot. I know it couldn't have been easy. You're really bad at giving hugs, though. <laughs> you nearly took out my eye with one of your horns. Wow. That's problematic. Hmm. How about you practice with me? We can practice hugging like... Once when we arrive at the lake, and once when we leave the lake, so you can get used to it. Outside the lake. Probably shouldn't hug each other where anyone can see. I wouldn't want to shatter the image of the big bad brimstone. It might totally ruin your evil guy credit in hell if you're seen hugging an angel. <laughs> That is a good point. I can't keep your hugs to myself, or you'll never get any better. Hmm. I suppose you should practice hugging some people that you can really trust. And most importantly, like enough to hug. <sighs> this contraption, as you put it, is the engineering prowess of old earth scholars that wished to recreate the modem of entertainment that was popular with humanity before its destruction. It is only one of many such recreation attempts, with the obvious improvements where they can, and probably should have been made. <laughs> it means some human-obsessed angels created a human method of entertainment, there's the Game Pyramid, the SP Console series, the Tendo Flip, and something called an X-Cube series, too. I can't tell if you're making fun of me or not. I didn't say X-Cube series 2. I said X-Cube series 2. <laughs> Shut up. I get it, it sounds the same. <laughs> Anyways... This contraption is modeled after a much later entertainment series called The Eye. You put all of this on your head and body. The bits on your head will transport you into the game world so you can play while feeling like you're actually in the game. There's some magic involved to improve the experience while keeping you aware that it's just a fantasy. The stuff on your body keeps you from thrashing about, sending the signals to your headset instead of your limbs. <laughs> Just put it on. I didn't have a lot of time to choose games, so I only picked out a few that I thought you might like. You can't... That can't be right. I calibrated the systems this morning. Um... Did you turn it on? Oh. Ugh. I'm sorry. I 
to God, you've never seen something like this. Um, flick your thumb three times, stick out your tongue and spin around. Then say, abracadabra, very flamboyantly. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. I didn't think you'd do it. It's an eye. Why would... <laughs> no, you won't. I won't let you get me back. You just can't admit that I got you good, Brimstone. Yes! <laughs> okay. The real way to turn it on is to flick your thumb three times, then to say, open. Do the opposite to shut the console down. Just so you don't think I'm trying to trap you in this thing, that means say, close and flick your thumb three times. Uh, whichever is your dominant hand. Huh? You have more than one... No. Wait. You have the same number of thumbs that I do. You're not going to get me with that one. <laughs> Open! There. We should be at the main screen with the three games I picked out. Can you see them? What are you talking about? It's a white room with three giant floating squares that show the games. How can it be dark? Did I calibrate the eye wrong? Your eye isn't... <sighs> oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Can we stop with the teasing and get into the games? I really wanted to show you all of this. We don't know how much time we're going to have. <sighs> Thank you. I picked three games for you to choose from. AS3, Honey Drop Mountain, and Halo. I was getting to that. Don't worry, I want you to have fun playing whatever we choose. It would really stink if you chose a game and didn't enjoy it at all. I want you to... Um... Well, that is, I... Kinda... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyways... Which one do you want to hear about? Or should I explain all three? I should explain all three, shouldn't I? Doesn't make much sense not to, you know? After all, you've never had a game system like this. It isn't likely you know what the games are like. All right. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just... nervous. I really want you to like this part of my culture. My society. To see more than the flashing of celestial blades. The sound of holy guns. The war cries of my people. We're more than war, but it's... getting lost along the way. Swallowed up by the hate for your kind. For your people. I'm hoping... sharing this... will bring a little light of hope. Taste. Oh! <laughs> I should bring food next time. That would be so much fun. I love baking. It's just like what I do for work, all the little pieces being put together. <sighs> right. The games. Sorry, sorry. I keep wasting my time on fooling about. Um, where are we? That's not its name. I know it looks like it could be, but it's AS3, not ass Three. That sounds like an entirely different kind of game. Um, I forgot what the A and the S stand for, but there are two other games in the series. They're based off a series of adventure games that the humans used to love. Choosing a character, well, making a character, really, and how an adventure might go is based on the choices that you make in the game. You can get vastly different games based on what choices you make. I really like playing it because I get to be human if I want for an entire gaming session. Yeah, maybe you're right. That is kind of heavy for the first dive into the games that the eye can provide. I picked... Oh. Uh... <laughs> I didn't think that one through whatsoever. 
we can skip over the next game and go right to the Honeydew Mountains. <laughs> Anyways, Honeydew Mountains is a fun little game that packs in a little bit of everything. You can cultivate plants on the farm, or the dungeon, or the townspeople, or all three. <laughs> the idea is to save the town by bringing in money. If you can get enough, you can drive off the evil people that are trying to take over the town. You could be a hero if you wanted to be. There are heroes in hell, aren't there? You said you were a blade of hell. Isn't that like a hero? It kinda is, since you said your job is to protect your people. Even if it's not, you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You should be considered. No. You are a hero. You're my hero. Anyways, if you, um, uh, don't want to be a hero, well, I, I don't have any games for you. The developers kind of chose the hero-focused games when they created them for the eye. I guess that means I can't share this part of my culture with you. It's really a shame. I was hoping we could have fun with it. Maybe this is my fault. Oh. I don't know if that one is a good idea. <sighs> All right. The last game I picked is called Halo. It's about an armored angel warrior who has been frozen for centuries, waking up in an era where a new threat, your kind, um, kind of having been defeated, is threatening the colonies of angel kind. We take on the role of this angel warrior as he tries to eliminate the threat by taking on various missions to keep angels from falling into enemy hands or destroying key enemy bases and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess you could call it a space angel battle game. Does that one sound interesting to you? Yay! I'm so glad we found one you can enjoy. Or at least try. Even if I didn't think you were going to like it that much. Let me just... There. Started it up. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. <laughs> I think you're going to enjoy at least playing, if not the game itself. Oh, here's the starting cutscene. I'm shutting up so you can enjoy. So exciting. 